I love making barbecue ribs. The downside is that it's a long cook. So today I'm gonna show you how to make tender 30 minute grilled ribs with a delicious Cajun style honey butter sauce. Now I know what you're thinking. How can you make delicious ribs in only 30 minutes? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that in this video. First things first, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to get all the notifications. Next up, get a rack of pork ribs. I'm using back ribs from Swift Meats. I'm gonna put on some gloves to make things a little bit easier and cleaner, especially when filming. I'm gonna take these guys out of the packaging. Now this can be a little bit messy, so you can also do this over a sink. Try to keep all that liquid in the package, slide those ribs out, put them on your cutting board, dispose of all that packaging. Now get a couple paper towels and we're gonna wipe these guys dry. There's no need to rinse or wash anything off. Just pet them so they're nice and dry. Wipe your work area so it's a little bit easier to work and repeat on the underside. Now as you can see they have that membrane but because we're gonna be cooking these hot and fast you can leave that on. Now take your knife and cut right in between the bones separating them into individual rib pieces. Take your time, get those nice even cuts and cut again in between the bones slicing right down the center. If there's any cartilage cut right through it and repeat this to the end of the rack. After the ribs are cut up and looking all pretty, we're gonna lube these guys up first. I'm going with some olive oil and this is gonna do two things. One, it's gonna help the seasoning stick to the meat and two, it's gonna help them caramelize and char up once they hit the grill. So take your olive oil and coat the ribs all around, sides, bottom, tops, making sure they're nice and shiny. Next, take your favorite barbecue seasoning for pork and start seasoning these guys up. Similar to the olive oil, make sure they're coated on all sides, tops, bottom, including the underside with the bones. This is again gonna help with the flavor, it's gonna help build up the beautiful color, crust and char on the grill, so don't skimp on the seasoning. After the ribs are seasoned up, I'm gonna put them on this separate tray and let them hang out on my countertop at room temperature for about 30 to 45 minutes. This will allow the ribs, the meat, to start to sweat, start to release some of that moisture and start to reabsorb the seasoning. The longer you let them sit, the more flavor they're gonna build up before they hit the grill. So again, 30 to 45 minutes is the sweet spot for maximum flavor. This is also the perfect time to clean your cutting board, especially the wood boards. I always get a lot of questions on these and anytime I handle raw meats or foods on my wood cutting boards, wash them off with soap and water everything comes off super nice you just don't want to let them sit for too long so it's best to clean them immediately after each use while the ribs are resting we're going to start on our sauce i'm using one stick of unsalted butter crushed red peppers some garlic powder cayenne pepper to give it some more heat italian seasoning and minced garlic i was out of the fresh stuff so i'm using the bottled stuff but feel free to use whatever you have on hand Making this sauce really couldn't be any simpler. Using a small saucepan, I'm gonna drop all the ingredients inside. Starting with our butter, for the spices, I'm going with one tablespoon of each. Now feel free to adjust the ratios here if you don't like things as spicy, especially the crushed red peppers and the cayenne pepper. On the heat scale of 10, this is probably a seven out of 10, so it is pretty spicy, but again, it's delicious on those ribs. If you like things more on the mild side, go with a half tablespoon of the cayenne and a half a tablespoon of the crushed red pepper. And lastly, to balance everything out, we're gonna go with about a quarter cup of honey. This is gonna provide that nice sweetness, richness, and stickiness to the sauce, and it's going to be delicious. This whole thing goes on the stove top over low heat. We're gonna let that butter melt, let all those herbs start to warm up, start to bloom in that fat. It's going to smell absolutely amazing. Once that butter is melted, start stirring everything and cook on low heat for about five to 10 minutes until everything is well combined thickened up and smelling amazing. And now comes the fun part. I'm using my large big green neck to grill up these ribs. I've got the firebox filled up with lump charcoal, so now we're gonna light the grill using these starter cubes. I'm gonna use two of these guys, just drop them right inside the charcoal, take your lighter, get them lit up. Once they are nicely lit, I'm gonna put the grate right on top. Once the grill is up to temperature, it's time to add our ribs and check these things out. They have been sitting on my countertop for about 35 minutes and they are looking amazing. Nice and wet on the outside. They are sweating, absorbing that seasoning, getting super flavorful. Take your ribs and just place them right on the grill, one right next to the other. It's been about five minutes and it's time to give these guys a flip. We want these ribs to develop that beautiful color, that char, that crust on the outside, but we don't want them to burn. And the way that we do that is by flipping them every three to five minutes 
on each side and check out this beautiful sear and crust that they're starting to develop after that first flip. So close the lid, cook these guys for five more minutes and then repeat the process. About 15 minutes in and these guys are looking great. That crust is building up, that fat is rendering out, dripping on those coals. These are smelling amazing, so give them a flip and continue cooking. We are now 30 minutes in, so let's see if our ribs are done. And the way that we do that is by checking the internal temperature. So take your thermometer and probe the thickest part of the meat. And what you're looking for is anything between 165 and 175. And these ribs are looking perfect to me. After cooking a lot of racks this way, I find that that range is the ideal mix of tenderness and doneness for pork ribs. And these are looking amazing. Check out that sizzling fat on the outside. This is a very unique way of making ribs because we're grilling directly over the charcoal. So as that fat renders out, it drops on the coals, it creates this beautiful aroma, and these ribs are ready to go. So let's pull them off and bring them inside. And just like with any other protein, we're gonna bring these inside and cover loosely with foil and let them rest for about 10-15 minutes. This is gonna stop the cooking process, let that meat relax, let those juices redistribute, making for a much better final product. After the ribs have rested, remove the foil and we're gonna drop these guys into a large bowl, get them ready for our delicious Cajun style honey butter sauce. And check out this beautiful sauce. Now I'm using this on ribs, but this is perfect on chicken wings, it's great on pork, on salmon, really anything. Take your sauce and pour it over those individual ribs. Now take your bowl and shake everything up, making sure that each one of them is nicely coated in that delicious Cajun style honey butter sauce. Before I play them up, here's a quick look at one of those beautiful ribs. I really wish you guys could smell this because the smell coming out of this bowl is absolutely amazing. But let's play them up and see how they taste. Take out your finest china or really any plate here will do. Take your bowl of those beautiful ribs and just dump everything out. And for the finishing touch, take some of that leftover Cajun butter sauce and pour it over your plate. And now before you eat, just take a moment and marvel at your creation at what we made here in only 30 minutes. And just like that, you have a plate of ribs topped with a delicious, spicy, Cajun-style honey butter sauce and all put together in 30 minutes. Be sure to give this one a try. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.